WWE, can you please get some courage? WWE reveals new matches for the Greatest Royal Rumble, but no women's wrestling allowed. Yes, that was from last year, but guess who still isn't allowed at this year's WWE in Saudi Arabia event? Finally, here's something I can agree with feminists on. Yes, I know it's kind of fake. Don't at me. WWE is going to Saudi Arabia for the third time, and of course that means no girls allowed. Oh no, women showing skin and performing acrobatics. If we allow this to be shown, our country will collapse. Several of WWE's top performers are boycotting the event, including Daniel Bryan and John Cena and the entire women's roster. As if they had a choice, right? There is one woman allowed at the event, however, WWE announcer Renee Young. As long as she is completely covered and isn't participating. Some other wrestlers aren't going, and not because they're boycotting it, but because they're banned for the most stupid and ridiculous reasons you could ever think of. Fan favorite Sami Zayn can't go because he's committed the ultimate crime of having Syrian ancestry. His buddy and fellow wrestler and Canadian Kevin Owens is actually boycotting the event to protest Sami Zayn not being able to go, so good job on sticking up for your buddy. Up and coming wrestler Alistair Black can't go either. Why? Because his tattoos are considered offensive. Saudi Arabia is so fragile that they can't allow their people to see a person playing a character with all these tattoos who purposely is dark and mysterious because it might offend some of them. We can't have our people seeing this because then they might discover that different ideas exist. No women at the show means a big F you to big stars like Charlotte Flair, daughter of Ric Flair, and of course, Ronda Rousey. Natalia Neidhart has openly stated that she would love to wrestle in Saudi Arabia, but of course, WWE has said in the past, that's too bad. Executive VP Paul Triple H Levesque says, I understand that people are questioning it, but you have to understand that every culture is different, and just because you don't agree with a certain aspect of it, it doesn't mean it's not a relevant culture. Uh, yes it does. If you can't have women working or performing at the same venue as men because it offends your modesty culture, not relevant. He did in that same article, however, go on to say, While women are not competing at the event, we have had discussions about that and hope that, in the next few years, they will be. That sounds really good on paper, except for the fact he said that over a year ago, before the other event. Considering that the WWE is a company that had a huge campaign in favor of LGB people, maybe don't perform in a country that considers those people walking death penalties and eliminates a third of your talent. Add in the fact that Saudi Arabia gets to see people like Goldberg and the world famous The Undertaker, while people from non-oppressive countries don't get to see them perform, is just another big slap in the face. WWE, grow some balls. Or I guess we can just wait till Saudi Arabia designs some appropriate outfits for your female wrestlers to wear, who would all then be required to have a man to accompany them to the ring. Just like at the event.